The desert, harsh, unforgiving, beautiful. It's a place of extremes where life struggles and the sun beats down relentlessly. But beneath that unforgiving surface, hidden among the rocks and sand, lies a secret that has drawn people for centuries. Gold. The stories are legendary. Lost mines, sudden riches, and the enduring hope of striking it big. Gold has fueled dreams and driven people to the ends of the earth, and the desert, with its mystique and promise, has always held a powerful allure for those seeking their fortune. It's not just about the money, though. Prospecting is about the challenge, the adventure, the thrill of the hunt. It's about connecting with history, walking in the footsteps of those who came before, and experiencing the raw power and beauty of the natural world. So you're thinking about trying your hand at gold prospecting. The desert calls to you. Good, let's get started. Before you grab your pan and head for the hills, it's helpful to understand a little bit about how gold ends up where it does. Don't worry, you don't need to be a geologist. Gold is formed deep within the earth under immense heat and pressure. Over millions of years, Volcanic activity and tectonic shifts can push this gold-bearing rock closer to the surface. Erosion then takes over. Wind and rain wear away at the softer rock, carrying tiny particles of gold downstream. These particles, heavier than the surrounding sediment, settle in areas where the water flow slows down. This is where you come in. By understanding how gold moves through the environment, you can start to identify those promising areas where it might be concentrated. Places like dry riverbeds, alluvial fans, and ancient stream channels. Remember, gold is heavy, much heavier than sand or gravel. This weight difference is what allows us to separate it out using simple tools and techniques. So, you're ready to find some gold. The desert can be a challenging but rewarding place to prospect. The key is knowing where to look. Start with research. Geological maps and historical records can be invaluable resources. Look for areas known for past gold discoveries or where the geology is favorable. Once you're in the field, focus on areas where water once flowed or slowed down. Dry washes, alluvial fans at the base of mountains, and inside bends in canyons are all good bets. Look for signs of quartz veins, black sand, often associated with gold, and iron-stained rocks. Pay attention to the lay of the land. Imagine how water would have flowed through the area in the past. Gold tends to concentrate in natural traps, places where the current would have slowed down, allowing the heavier gold to settle out. Remember, prospecting takes patience and persistence. Don't expect to get rich quick. The real treasure is the adventure, the challenge, and the connection with nature. Section four tools of the trade essential gear for prospecting. You don't need a lot of fancy equipment to start gold prospecting, but having the right tools can make all the difference. Here are a few essentials. A gold pan. This is your most important tool. A good pan allows you to separate gold from sand and gravel using a combination of swirling and shaking. A shovel. You'll need a sturdy shovel to dig up material to pan. A smaller handheld trowel can also be useful for finer work. A bucket. A bucket is essential for carrying material to and from your panning location. A classifier. A classifier is a screen that helps remove larger rocks and debris, making panning easier and more efficient. A snuffer bottle. This handy tool allows you to suck up small flakes of gold from your pan. A vial or container. You'll need a safe place to store your finds. These are just the basics. As you gain experience, you can explore more specialized tools like metal detectors, sluice boxes, and dry washers. Section 5. Desert Dangers and Golden Rules, Safety and Practical Advice. Prospecting in the desert can be an incredible adventure, but it's important to be prepared and stay safe. Water is life. Dehydration is a serious risk in the desert. Always carry more water than you think you'll need. Sun protection. The desert sun is intense. Wear a hat, sunglasses, and sunscreen, and take breaks in the shade whenever possible. Wildlife awareness. Be aware of your surroundings and watch out for snakes, scorpions, and other desert creatures. Tell someone your plans. Always let someone know where you're going and when you expect to be back. Leave no trace. 
prospecting should be done responsibly. Pack out everything you pack in and minimize your impact on the environment. Prospecting is a skill that takes time and practice to master. Don't get discouraged if you don't find a fortune on your first outing. Enjoy the journey, learn from your experiences, and most importantly, have fun.